Hello everyone, welcome to Just Kaya Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a leaf or a, a thin paper kind of a translucent material using Llama Translucent in Random Man from Maya. So, yeah, I have a simple scene. So, I have some fern models here and I have loaded five textures. So, the color, displacement, roughness, normal and alpha. So, I have a HDRI light and uh, I have some HDRI images connected to it. So, yeah, this is the default render. So, yeah, let's let's assign our llama surface and get started let's get started so yeah i'm just going to assign a llama surface here and so let's build the base structure of our material first so first we are going to have a llama diffuse and a llama translucent and we need to have a llama maybe layer let's try with layer first so that you can see the difference between using the layer and other other ways to create so i've just connected this uh diffuse to the material base and uh, translucent to the material top and i'm going to connect the out color to the llama surface material front so yeah let's Render this. As you can see here, nothing happens. We have connected everything properly, but as you can see here, we are connecting our diffuse with the translucent. So actually, translucent uh, will not connect it. Use I mean, combine using the llama layer. So basically, in order to combine the llama translucent, you need to add the llama add. So basically, it is an addition. To another loop so it's not uh, it cannot be done using layering so I'm just going to connect the llama diffuse in the material 1 and I'm going to connect the translucent in the material 2 and I'm just swap the input to here and as you can see here now things are working just fine but I can't see uh, the translucent happened here so I'm just uh, as you can already, uh, you know, familiar with the llama trans llama, tra I mean, uh, llama materials. So we everything is black at the uh, opposite side of the geometry. So we need to enable this material sides to two, and as you enable it, still we don't have any translucent going here. So in order to make this happen, we need to increase the weight of our llama add so now we can delete this llama layer and now you can see cool we have a very cool translucent the scatter is working fine currently it works like a thin paper and maybe we can clearly see the uh, the result by assigning a red to the diffuse and green color to the translucent color so as you can see here so everything is working just fine so i'm just going to reduce the brightness of our colors and i'm just going to add a specular layer on top of it so in order to add a specular layer it's very simple let's add a llama layer and uh, let's add a llama dielectric connect the out color to the material top so connect this llama add once all color to material base and now we need to actually we need to connect this uh yeah actually we haven't done one thing so actually we need to connect this to the material back as well so let's say if you are working with the different textures for the material front and material back so you need to make sure you are connected a different material with different textures uh, to the material back so in this case we don't have that complications here so we have only one texture for both the sides so let's let's make sure we are using that so yeah let's, 
Okay, let's connect this into the material front and back. So yeah, we have our speculars just working fine and I'm now I'm going to, uh, you know, instead of using the constant color, I'm just going to connect the textures that I've already loaded. So I've connected the color and let's see if it is working. So it should work and I'm just going to connect the same color in the color of Llama translucent. So as you can see here, so the textures are working fine and uh, uh, currently I've connected the same color texture in the diffuse and the translucent. Uh, so I don't want that way. So I'm just going to create a pixel color correct and I'm going to color correct just the translucent layer. So let's connect it like this. Press two. Yeah, so I'm going to change the hue. So it goes, okay, let's go towards the yellow side. So yeah, maybe we can go for like one five and maybe we can increase the saturation. Cool, yeah, I think this will work. Maybe we can go even further in the hitches, I mean hue. So why not? Cool. So yeah, it's working fine. And if you look into the Llama translucent, actually we don't have that much of control here. So we just have the roughness here. So as you increase the roughness, it actually, uh, you know, uh, it will reduce the translucence a little bit and it will make the scatter a bit rough, but uh, it is up to you. So I usually don't play with this. So if I want, I'll go to the Llama add and I'll reduce the weight of this layer so it, it depends so so whatever that suits you you can use that so i'm just going to keep this as it is so everything is pretty much balanced at this moment so we don't have to worry too much about this yeah so we have uh, so let's just play with the displacement so i'm going to have my displacement here and uh, let's create the pxr yeah oh sorry so let's create the pxr displace node and uh, let's delete this shading group and i'm just going to connect this displace into my shading groups renderman tab and we need to connect our displacement here so I'm just going to press middle mouse and drag and drop into the render man displacement. And we have connected the displacement, but we need to connect our textures also. So I'm just going to create a PXR disk transform. So it helps us to um, transform the displacement as we want. Uh, so we have the different controls for height and depth. So control the center all of things so yeah let's connect the disk scalar to the uh, result rgbr so the red channel will be connected to the disk transform and i'm going to connect this result float to disk scalar so the moment that i've connected so our geometries are going to be exploded so yeah our displacement is just working fine so I'm happy with that so I'm just going to change the remapping mode to centered so let's have a look at our displacement textures so yeah actually we shouldn't look from here so yeah this is our texture so just I'm going to reduce the uh, yeah the displacement height and displacement depth so 0 0.010 cool so it's just working fine so basically uh, the height value defines how much it deforms in the height and how much the, de the displacement depth defines how much the displacement going into the surface so yeah if you want you can go for maybe even further so I can I think I can push it to 
uh, 0.015 yeah maybe we can go for 0.02 yeah we have uh, a lot of breakups on the geometry now so cool so now let's disable the solo and see how it works on top of our geometry so yeah I think it works pretty well so I'm just going to yeah let's enable the auto crop yes yeah it, it, uh, it definitely works fine so now I'm just going to connect another uh, layer I mean not another layer but I'm just going to connect the bump so when you're working with llama materials connecting the bump is a bit different so so whatever lobes that you want to connect your bump to you need to connect all those lobes so basically I'm just going to create a normal map so it's a Pixar normal map so I have a normal map so I have to create a Pixar normal map so I'm just going to get the result RGB oh sorry so our result RGB of our normal map into the input RGB and connect the result n to our llama diffuse and our llama translucent and also to our llama dielectric so yeah now we have our uh, normal should working fine so let's see first uh, how our normal map is looking like Cool. So this is our normal map. So mostly we have some, uh, I mean, secondary details are there. So not uh, uh, kind of fine details or not large uh, uh, details in it. So yeah. So I'm just going to disable the solo to see the material. I mean, see the render. So I'm just going to reduce the bump scale so that so at this moment everything is a bit too, too much. So I think 0 0.1 works pretty well. Yeah, I think this will work. So this will definitely work. Cool. So we have everything is ready and finally I'm going to connect the roughness so let's just connect the roughness to our specular layer which is the llama dielectric so let's connect this to the roughness yeah here it is so I've connected the roughness and let's see how the roughness is looking so so yeah I'm happy with the roughness so we can uh, we have a lot of details going there so yeah and finally uh, we have to connect our alpha map to our shaders so the way you need to connect the way you connect your alpha map is you cannot connect directly to any lobes so we have to connect to our collector like the llama surface so as you can see here we don't have any options to connect our uh, alpha map so in order to connect you need to make sure uh, your compute presence is checked so let's check this and you can see we have our presence enabled now so I'm going to connect our presence so yeah it is a float input so you need to connect your red channel to your presence and that's it so our fern is completely ready now Okay, so I think we can, uh, I can just pass the render and, I mean, pass the recording so that I can uh, resume the recording once the render is done. So, yeah. So, yeah, the render is done. So, as you can see here, it's uh, looking pretty good. So, everything is looking fine for me. Yeah, so this is how we actually working with the llama translucent and we have seen how to uh, work with displacement and how to work with bump when you're using llama materials so yeah 
that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching